uh, the next feature which we have added in version 10 is uh, account numbering. So in the chart of accounts earlier you had uh, option of only specifying account name right but uh, we learned that uh, there are uh, uh, some of the countries also specify the name uh, I'm sorry the account number and if you have that use case uh, now you can manage that in ERP next. So let's say if I create a, a new uh, child account or a group account or any account for that matter I can also specify the account number in here I'm sorry uh, let me add a new bank account here say it is uh, national bank of India so account number is this which is standard right and if I create this you can see that the account ID is generated in the combination of account number and account name account number will uh, be uh, uh, will start and then we have account name so this is this is the uh, new feature which we have added in version 10 right uh, you can rename your existing account or you can also uh, like uh, in uh, create new ones as per your own requirement with account number so So uh, we had two masters, uh, employee and task, which are now uh, maintained in trace structure. What does it mean and why we did that? If you look at the employee list, list is same, but on the left side, you see uh, option called tree. If I click on tree, it gives you a view like this, right? So uh, we have provided a view uh, of employees in a tree structure so you can also define the hierarchy so you can identify who is reporting to whom right so how do you do that let's say uh, if i open this employee it, it it will take you to employee master right and then in here you have a field called reports to right so uh, for each employee you define whom he is reporting to and based on that uh, the tree master will be generated for an employee and that's pretty simple the functionality front-end functionality and how employee is used in another, another transaction like payroll and uh, expense claim leave application remains just the same just that based on the uh, report to uh, updated for an employee uh, now you can also uh, build a, a tree view and see who is reporting to whom. same way on the task side you have a tree structure right so uh, you can just select a project and for that project you can see uh, a tree view of all the tasks right so for this project all these tasks has been created and uh, we we need to uh, uh, build on uh, we need to look forward to build on that right for example in the construction domain you have uh, within a project you have tasks and then sub task so this way will allow you to uh, see uh, and get the consolidated picture of uh, where you stand uh, in terms of costing in terms of progress uh, over uh, uh, for the complete project so uh, these are the two new views added uh, for task and project uh, that reviews and uh, the other thing